Good morning, happy Wednesday. The boys are already off at school. Uh, me and my mom sat down and had like 100 errands to figure out before Christmas time and grocery shopping and a bunch of returns and store stuff and yada, yada, yada. Um, but in about an hour, I'm going into school. I'm subbing in a first grade classroom just for the afternoon. Um, that will be fun. I had a appointment this morning and then we had a bunch of stuff to do. So this worked out great. So I'm hopping over there at 11.30. I'll take you along with me, subbing in a first grade classroom and then I'll take the boys home with me. Two of the things I did this morning I want to show you. Um, first, I am helping Calvin's first grade teacher. I'm helping her with like their winter project that they're gonna send home for teachers. Um, so let me show you, I mean for parents, not for teachers. I looked up a few ideas. She wanted to make it not, um, normally she does like an elf yourself type thing, but she has quite a few kids in the class that don't celebrate Christmas, so we wanted to make sure to keep it uh, inclusive. So instead of doing something Christmassy, we came up with a snow globe. And so this is like the prototype here. So essentially I'm going to go in on Friday. I'm going to take pictures of each of the kids. Um, this is just an old photo that I used and we'll use Photoshop and then they will choose one of these Arctic animals to be stuck inside uh, a snow globe with. And then their picture can go ahead and react to being stuck inside. So if it's like a cute little polar bear baby or a penguin, they might be like, oh, it's so cute. Or if it's something scary, they might want to scream or they can kind of be fun and creative with it. And then I'm going to take the photos, put it on a little background with the little animal. And then on Monday, I'm going in and we are going to cut out the snow globe base. They'll write their name. Um, I'm deciding exactly how I want to do this. I might do it on construction paper. It says first grade 2022, and they will assemble it together to take home their own little snow globes. So I'll keep you updated on that. Like I said, this is just the prototype, but I thought it was really cute and Calvin seemed to enjoy it. So I think they'll like it. The other thing I wanted to show you is tomorrow night is book club night. And I think I told you this in my last vlog, but book club night, I tend to go all out and plan like a themed, menu and everything. So we read a Christmas book this month. So the entire menu tomorrow is going to be Christmas themed. And to help prepare, last night I made these really cute Christmas tree ice cubes. And so I got these molds off Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description, but they are so cute. They are silicone molds. And then I filled them with water, a splash of cranberry juice, a couple cranberries and a little bit of rosemary. I put those in last night. So I'm gonna see how they came out. So cute. All right, let's get these in a bowl. Okay, are these not the cutest things ever? So I'll have little tongs and we will put them in some like wine glasses. And then I got some Prosecco and I also got ginger ale and we can make little cute drinks. All right, I think those are so cute. Those are back in the freezer. I wanted to um, take them out today so I can wash the silicone molds um, and the baking sheets because I'm going to give the silicone molds um, to each of the members of the book club to take home tomorrow so they get to have it as a little keepsake. On that note, I'm going upstairs to put on a little makeup and probably put, just put some dry shampoo in this hair and make it look a little nicer before I go sub. back there, but I'll clean that up later.
lot later. Subbing went great today. Um, it was really easy, sweet class. When I got there, it was actually already lunchtime, so lunch and recess. And then in math today, we did, um, they were in between skills. So since I was just subbing for the afternoon, we just uh, reviewed number bonds and fact families. So we did a little bit of that. I brought this snowman bump game right here. We didn't have time to play it, so I left it for the teacher in case she wants to use it another time. I know that they're starting addition uh, within 20 soon, addition and subtraction. So I'll actually link that down below. It's a freebie that I gave out last year, so I will link that in the description in case you want it. Then they went to specials. This class had gym, and when they got back, it was actually funny. The teacher that I subbed for yesterday, they started my free uh, lesson that I'd done a million years ago, I think like in 2013. It's this lesson right here. It goes with Rocket Writes a Story, and students go out and they go collect different words and they just write like a random short story. It's a great like filler, because also in writing, the kids are kind of in between different skills. So it's a great little lesson to do. So yesterday they collected the four words, and then today um, I shared her modeled story that she had written, and then I also collected like my own words, and as a class, we came up with a story together. Nothing groundbreaking, of course, as you can see. Um, but then they went and they wrote their own like silly short story, which was really cute. And then it was the end of the day, so that was really simple. Came home with the boys relaxed for like 45 minutes, then we uh, ate Chipotle and went to Calvin's basketball. Go Calvin. Now they are showering and it's time for bed, so I will see you in the morning. Hello, hello, it is the next day. Uh, today is Thursday and it's book club day. The morning was pretty simple. Uh, we dropped the boys off at school and then Parker and I actually went out for a little planning lunch, our annual planning lunch for the business. So we talked about um, what we want to do next year and all that fun stuff. And then, what's so funny? What, what does he have? Sally, come. Oh, silly. That's so silly. You have paper on your nose. You have paper right on your nose. That's ridiculous. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, the afternoon was busy with our planning, and now it's time to get ready for book club. So, I already showed you those ice cubes, and we have the Prosecco chilling and ginger ale, and then we have a lot of other fun stuff. So, let's start preparing. All right, first up, we are making these adorable little gnome cookie cups. So earlier today, my mom already went ahead. Where are they? Right here. And we just did those sugar snap and bake, and we put them in mini muffin pans. And then when they were still warm, we went ahead and made little divots in them. So we're gonna fill them up with some frosting here. And then we're going to top it with a little strawberry hat and put a little Skittle nose. Let's see how these come out. Have one later. Just, Shug, don't touch it. That? Sugar cookie, strawberry. That's skittle. a skittle. So if you don't like the skittle, you can just take the little nose off. That smells so good. I know. I awesome. Wait, like this part is the best. Sugar cookie. Yeah. That <laughs> smells. so good. Taste review from this was one of our sloppy ones. So ready? I'm gonna take the skittle off. Take the skittle like off. It. He doesn't like skittles. Oh. Nope, not on that plate. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Ready? Try it out. Don't let the strawberry fall off because it will. It's gonna be so hard to good. Go. Hold the strawberry because it'll fall. His tooth breaks. <laughs> good. You can dip the strawberry in the frosting too. That also tastes really good. The little strawberry cup. <laughs> mm. Yummy? Okay, good. Calvin. It's made up of a sugar cookie on the bottom. See the bottom part? What's a sugar cookie? A cookie, but like a sugar kind. And then it has frosting, and then it has a, a Skittle nose and a strawberry on top. Would you like to try it? No. Calvin, come on, it tastes so good. Okay. We'll leave I it here in case. regular Skittles. Oh, you have to try a bite of that to see if you want it. Mm. Okay, well, we'll figure it out later. Five minutes later. 
delicious. Mm-hmm. Okay, those came out really cute. Boys approved. Calvin loved everything except the strawberry. Now, my mom is going to make some spinach pinwheels that we're gonna stack like a Christmas tree. I'll show you that in a sec. And then I'm making a calzone wreath with um, salami, ham, uh, prosciutto, all that fun stuff. We have the book, Always in December. We have chips. We have our little gnomes. I showed you these earlier. The heads are starting to slide off. I don't know why, but it's fine. Um, the chips are for the side of the pinwheel sandwiches. We made it into a little Christmas tree. We have our calzone wreath in the back. Just some deviled eggs because I like them. And then we have this beautiful cheese Christmas tree. And then these, which I showed you, these are like the absolute best. Our little Christmas tree ice cubes, which we're going to put in here with some Prosecco. And then everyone's going to take home a little Christmas tree mold. We got the presents. Kelly, present number one. What are you choosing? I don't know. I'm going to go with um, the middle one. Electric kettle and a bunch of assorted tea. Cook in your Dutch oven, Martha Stewart pan. The bookmark's so cute. Barefoot dreams blanket. A die <laughs> Chamomile <laughs> vanilla. Yeah, you don't need to. My cute little mug. Just one more chapter. And a nice blanket. Book club was a success. It was so much fun. We None of us loved the book itself. Um, just wasn't wasn't really for us. I know I explained it a few times, but I don't know. It has popular reviews on Goodreads, so give it a try. But we did our little exchange, our Yankee swap. We all got great gifts, and now I'm just cleaning up, and I'm ready to go to bed. Tomorrow morning, I'm heading to Calvin's classroom. I'm gonna take some pictures for um, their little winter gift, which I'm excited about, so that'll be tomorrow. Good night. I brought the boys to school this morning. I did drop off um, because I was helping with that winter project. It was so cute. I know I shared a little bit about it um, before, but students were able to pick which animal they wanted to be in, uh, in a snow globe with. And then they could pick like how they wanted their reaction to be. Some wanted to try to pet the animal. Some wanted to be like, what are you doing here? Others were like, oh, you're so cute. Um, and they practiced all their little facial expressions. It was so cute and how much um, creativity and like individuality that they put into it was so cute. So I took everybody's photos um, and I wrote down what animal they wanted to be with, any little notes that they wanted, and I'm going to put them into a snow globe and then I'll go back on Monday and we will assemble it. So I can't wait. Parker and I are going to do a couple errands right now. And then when I get back, I'm gonna work on this snow globe project for Monday. All right, morning was successful. Parker and I did a return that we needed to do. Um, we went to the chocolate store to get some chocolate turtles. My grandma used to always give everybody chocolate turtles on Christmas, um, and she passed away a few years ago. So 
I'm not giving everybody turtles, but I'm gonna put them out for dessert. So I went and snagged a bunch of those, which is great. And then I worked on the snow globes for the kids. They are so cute. I wish I could show you all of them. Let me show you Calvin so you can see what it looks like. I know I told you that they each put like their own little personality into it, which was so cute. Wait till you see my sons. He was the only one who decided to pick a walrus for his Arctic friend. And he decided he was going to go with a shocked look. Um, or like, he didn't say shocked. He said a, what are you doing here? Looked, which I think in my head I had like, oh, like, what are you doing here? Like a shocked impression in my head. That's not what he was going for. Let me show you. Look at this goofball. He's so funny. So he picked the big old walrus and he's got this face like, hmm, what are you doing here? His eyebrow is so high up. It's so funny. So these are the uh, pages. I'm getting them printed out at Staples so they'll be a little higher quality. And then the background of the snow globe is going to be cardstock that they will decorate. They'll cut this out. Actually, I'm going to cut the circles so these don't get ruined. Um, and then they will glue it onto their, onto the background of their snow globe and they will write their name. We're going to do that on Monday. So that's what I did all afternoon. I also turned all of their little um, snow globe pages. I first made sure these were good to go and ordered at Staples, but then I also took the images since they were already done. I had made them in Canva, so I made a little slideshow. Um, so I'm adding some music to it now to make a little video that they can take home so that way they can see all of their friends. I think they'll think that's really fun. Um, and I figure the teacher can send it home over the holidays. I think I'm just gonna make myself some tea. Theo has football practice tonight, but I'm hanging home with Calvi and we're just relaxing. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.